Hello, hello, hello everyone. It is another weekend Vampire Survivors bonus content. I hope your day is going well. I know I'm dropping all the superlatives today. Um, we have finished the DLC for Among Us. So we are going to continue the adventures. Even though these don't count towards any achievements or anything like that, I think. Um, I, I, I want to do these. Um, uh, one out of 14, I, I don't have a lot done. Um, so we're doing Garlic Paradise. Hold on a second, I got to, uh, stop something. There we go. Sorry, it was being really loud and annoying. Um, okay. Progress. I was like, is there a way to tell me where, where, where what I'm doing? Yes. Um, all these things, huh? Alright. Uh, 15 minutes for in a rough awakening, open a coffin, risky woods. I, I don't, I don't know what any of that means to me right now. Um, but I do have power-ups. Or money for power-ups. Do I do I refund everything and, and buy the amount? Put it into cooldown. Let's see. Oh, split it between might and recovery. Oh, that's it, huh? Um, all right. Let's see what that does. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm completely winging it. Um, okay, so said for a certain amount of time in Rough Awakening. So we'll do that. Um, I do get Arcanus, and I do know Tragic, or the Blood Astrome <laughs> works with this. Yeah, I know everyone's week is going well. Mine has gone great. Things have slowed down on YouTube. I don't know if it's an algorithm thing. I don't know if it's um, my upload schedule. I uploaded some something yesterday, and I noticed an immediate spike. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering if uploading regularly to YouTube also counts towards. Um, well, it's trying to give me the two two pigeons. So I'll just go ahead and try to get both pigeons going. Why not? Um, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I probably need to do more variety with uh, the shorts. It seems like the huge burst I had with shorts might be done. Um, it might be the tags I used. Um, I know, I know, um, get a track corp. I know Google's extremely unfriendly towards LGBTQ creators and I wanted to test it out and I put LGBTQA plus or whatever um, and I'd have to look at my tags. It's either LGBT or LGBTQA in the tags of my shorts and immediate drop in views so I'm, I'm seriously wondering if they do that to lgbtq creators and if they do that's such a dick move on their part to just because someone identifies as lgbtq that they they hurt the metrics like that um it's it's just slimy, it's dirty, it's gross. It's unsurprising from a corporation too. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Um, and I know like, I'm not the first LGBTQ cre content creator to probably complain about that. Um, I already can sense like the downvotes and stuff coming towards this one. Um, It, it's tough. It's tough trying to be, you know, non-conforming in a conformist world. 
you know. It's whatever. Well, uh, I'll, I'll just leave the LGBTQ tag out for now and see if that improves my metrics. Um, speaking of which, I probably need to go through my old ones and delete them. I've also noticed, like, they're lagging now, like a day behind. What is that? Okay, so there's a coffin, but we'll... Oh, those are items, aren't they? That is a wand. Oh. Oh, there's all sorts of things here. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's, let's go to them. I don't... Is this just to unlock dudes? Adventure Merchant. Anything you buy from a merchant... Uh, adventure Merchant is unlocked for the entire adventure. Ah, I see. Uh, don't have my that. Don't have okay. Alright. But I will take the wand. Got the whip of... Okay, so... I'm guessing they're also standing by their weapon. Who's that at the bottom? I don't know them. Um, but I think I want to go for this coffin. And I'm hoping the other pigeon shows up. It, it was giving me consistently both pigeons, and now it doesn't give me the pigeon at all. I'm like, come on. Come on. Anyway, I hope everyone's week's going well. I know I'm complaining about Google and corporate structures and shit like that. Um, I, I need to cuss less. I also know that affects your ranking with YouTube. Um, I don't know. Like, I was definitely feeling really bad last week, and I um, I actually feel really really great this week, which is weird because my normally like it seems like my mood is influenced by my YouTube metrics, but. Um, actually, it's like the opposite. My numbers were really, really good last week, and I just, like, my headspace was in a bad place, but, um, my metrics are in the dump right now, and I actually feel great. Um, I think part of that is, after, after I finished Celeste, I played Celeste this month, um, as a prize. I got to play some games that were legitimately fun for me to play, and I think that really boosted my mood and spirits. Um, I played... What did I play? I played... I started playing um, Legend of Doom, which is someone made a complete Doom remake of The Legend of Zelda, but as a as a Doom game, as a, as a WAD file, and it's absolutely amazing and fun and super cool. I, I really loved it. it. I thought it was super fun. Um, like, as a, as a Zelda fan and, like, as someone who, like, I played Doom as a kid, but I really haven't played Doom. Um, since I got older, uh, and so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then, uh, Celeste, the creators of Celeste, dropped Celeste 64, which is a, you know, a 64 style, um, platformer, collector, berry things, and you know what? For one stream, I got 23 out of 25 berries. I'm, I'm good with that. I had a ton of fun. <laughs> I found it to be a bit easier than, than playing actual Celeste. Oh, maybe, maybe it's just the way my mind works or something. I don't know. Um, but it was really, really good. I had a ton of fun playing it. Um, it was, it was really, like, just, it was sweet, it was a nice little thing to do for the gaming community at large. Um, 
I think the whole team that made Celeste are just a wonderful, amazing group. And, and yeah, it was a really beautiful game. I had a ton of fun. Nice little nods to, um, you know, the OG Celeste and, and everything. So I, I really, really like that. In fact, um, that's good. Like I, I push things out of the way that that's going up as like a full playthrough, um, with like only some light editing that's going up. Uh, that went up yesterday. That's that's literally gonna already be up by the time time this video is live. Um, oof! Wow, they did a lot of damage. I I need to be a little careful. I really like these adventure maps. I think I understand a little bit better what I'm doing. Uh, hey, why am I not getting weapons? Do I need to go around and pick up weapons from them? from the the do I not get weapons unless I pick them up from the the merchants or over by the merchants? Anyway, um, and yeah, it, I had a ton of fun playing that. I had way more fun playing that than I had playing Celeste. Celeste, Celeste definitely like knew how to push my buttons. <laughs> I definitely got, I wouldn't say completely tilted, but I definitely got tilted at points. Um, you know, maybe maybe overly focused on, on some goals. I, I had a lot more fun with Celeste when I let the berries go. I just stopped like focusing on trying to get every berry and like just start playing through the levels. And I had way more fun. You know, the platforming actually, it really is satisfying. Like I'm still, I, I still would think like they need to do a little leveling. Usher Shiro's place with dust bunnies and all, all the mess of Usher Shiro's, the hotel, such, such a pain. It's so much all at once to throw at a player. I, I thought, Maybe they could have done some leveling or put that more towards the end. It's it's kind of tough to throw that all all really fast at a player. Um, <clears throat> but I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, so Chippy has won. Chippy is definitely the winner of the uh, January. Point redemption. Uh, I'm gonna get in here so I can just kind of blast everyone from the inside. Um, and I know he wants me to play Doom 2, which I'm super looking forward to. Um, because one, I know cheat code, so if I get too stuck, I can just be like, "All right, I'm I'm cheating my way to to the answer here." Or uh, I mean, I'll give it my my best honest play. And like, I know he's going to want to watch me play so if I have questions I can just lean on him to coach me however um, not saying like I'm gonna be super reliant on him uh, why, why why won't you open did I get here too early do I need to wait until like 10 minutes to to open a coffin Now, now we open it. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry. My throat's probably going to get a little dry here. That being said, like, I had a terrible time playing Mario Maker on Monday. Just every level was, like, the worst level. And it's so weird because I've had amazing days where I just get amazing levels playing Mario Maker and then just some days like I feel like I'm stuck playing absolute garbage. Yeah. And I think I think people get confused on if I make this hard 
the streamer will like it. Like, you can make a hard level, but I think people forget, like, the level also needs to be fun. Um, base weapon. Yes, please. Oh, okay. I don't get many options for a base weapon. Okay, uh, sure. We'll take the cat. <laughs> I was hoping to have more options. Um... And, and so it was just a little, it, it's, it's that, like, I'm not opposed to playing a hard level. I want it to be fun. I've played plenty of hard levels that I found to be fun. In fact, one of the levels of my gaming had like, had like so many plays it was like a 0% clear rating even though people have cleared it it's just oh I wasn't looking at my health I have no revives do I where am I on time ah, that's close enough to 20 minutes um, I guess I made a little progress I found magic wand um, and find the coffin rough awakening unlocks uh, I can never pronounce their name um, that was much shorter than I expected it to go. <clears throat> but I can unlock these guys. Oh my god, a thousand. Alright, well, I have quite a bit of money after that. Let's go ahead and get you. Um, okay, I can spend money on power-ups then. <sighs> what would be best, probably? Um... Probably spreading it around, like growth, duration, magnet, speed, area. What's, oh, I was like, what's speed versus movement speed? I, I understand now. Movement speed is how fast you walk. Uh, speed is how fast you... Um, your weapon fires. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Do I have another for growth? I don't. Just shy. Can I buy some luck? Uh, or do I want to put in movement speed? Maybe I'll put in the movement speed. Oh, I can do that too. Okay, we'll do that. That's not bad. That's already like a good start. Um, all right, we're going to end there. And I don't know why I did that at the end, probably because I'm padding for time a little bit here, and I could have done it at the end. Um, but if you made it this far, uh, please consider like, coming and subscribing. Um, I guess until I get my guys leveled up, these are going to be a little bit shorter than how I'm used to. Um, consider joining the social medias. They should be all in the links down below. And consider joining the Discord. I'm, I'm trying to grow that. We've been doing movie watches on the weekend. They've been a ton of fun. Um, so yeah, consider that. Uh, also, down in my description, I have social media links for my mods. They are wonderful people. I want nothing more than to see their stuff grow. So please consider... Um, joining their Twitch channel, or I know Chippy has a YouTube channel, um, please, please, please consider subscribing to those people because they are wonderful people. They do amazing work. Um, they're better at this than me, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just out here hustling like every day and trying to make it happen. Um, that being said, have a good night. Have a good evening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you only come here for the Vampire Survivor stuff, I hope to see you next week. Otherwise, come join me for the Twitch channel during the week, or look for my shorts and YouTube videos that should go up just about daily. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all those things, it really helps out the channel and the algorithm. All right, I think I've done enough begging here. Um, but seriously, have a good night, have a good evening, have a good week, and then whatever you are in whatever part of your world, um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.